Hi guys, my name is Melanie Newman and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is a long-term client. This is Kenzo the Bichon. Now he normally comes to me every six weeks, which is great, but he's always pretty grubby because I think he loves to play in the dirt like every single Bichon I know. Um, so I'm going to do a purify treatment on him today with our activated charcoal, with our purified dog scrub, so we're going to get him super clean. So he just settles himself down. So his coat is a really dense, thick coat. So I know some of you guys out there have Bichons or Bichon clients that have a really thick coat. And when he comes in, sometimes I think, okay, is it matted or is it just really, really thick? And we can see how thick it actually is. So what I normally do with him is because it's not matted as such or it doesn't have any knots and tangles, it's just quite dirty, it's also really thick. So I just pop him straight in the bath and give him a really good wash and let the blow dryer do all the work. And I'll show you guys that once he's ready for the drying process. But I just make sure I get his coat really really super clean so I don't brush him beforehand I just pop him straight into the bath no you're getting a bath you're, it's happening okay so we're giving him his first rinse this is usually what he does, he tries to escape and like he's never been bathed before. But you have... going to start with our purify shampoo so this has activated charcoal in it which is going to help whiten his coat and remove any toxins and pollution in his coat so even though it's actually a dark shampoo um, it's not going to keep his coat dark it's just going to clean it really really well Give a quick rinse.
so now we're going to use our purify scrub. So this has activated charcoal, sea salt, Australian clay, and it has lavender and sandalwood. So this will help remove more dirt and more pollution from his coat. And we're just going to massage that through his legs and his entire body. Once we've worked that through his coat, he loves to shake. Once we've worked it through his coat, we are going to rinse out as much of the scrub as we possibly can. Once we've rinsed that coat really well, we're going to shampoo his coat again and because the scrub is gritty and it's got a lot of texture to it, it does stay in the coat so we need to shampoo it again to help remove it and then we're going to give a really really good deep condition.
rinsing off our second shampoo so this is a shampoo that we've done to help remove all the scrub And then following with our Purify Conditioner. So this will just help hydrate his coat and when we're drying his coat it will help. <laughs> loves to shake. When we're drying his coat it'll help separate that hair because he does have a really dense thick coat. So if I didn't condition his coat it would make it really hard for me to brush and get a comb through because it is so thick. Just rinsing off the conditioner so I'm probably going to rinse his coat for a good I would say three minutes um, sometimes I can go a little bit longer because I want to make sure all the conditioner is removed from his coat completely rinsed and now I'm going to towel dry him and I'm pretty wet as well got a lot of water on me because he loves to shake and then I'm going to take him over to the dryer I've towel dried him as much as I could so there's no drops of water coming off of him and he's on the towel as well so any other bits of water when I dry him are going to go on the towel and they're not going to go back onto him because his coat is really thick and <laughs> I have to laugh every time he shakes oh my goodness good boy and so when I'm drying him because his coat is really really thick I want to make sure his coat's going to dry as fast as it possibly can. So I'm going to use our Relax Coat Conditioning Spray and spray that through his coat. And this will give a little bit more hydration when I'm drying him because his coat is, as I've said quite a few times, it is really, really thick. So I wanna make sure it's nice and hydrated for when I'm going to go through with a slicker and a comb when we're using the stand dryer. So before we use a stand dryer, we are going to use a high velocity dryer. And when I use it, I'm going to make sure I go through his coat 
really well. So I want this dryer to really penetrate down to the base of his skin. So the coat is then separating and his coat will then straighten really well. So when I go back through with the slicker, it's really going to be super straight, clean. All his little bits of undercoat are going to come out because a high velocity dryer is going to help push them out. So when I dry him, it's going to be quite close. So this is the action that I'll be using through his entire coat. So on with his happy hoodie and then we'll begin drying him. Good boy. I have used a high velocity dryer on him. I've used a stand dryer on him. And when I've used a stand dryer, I've gone through with the slicker and then I've gone through with my fine tooth comb. And I think he looks amazing. So he's really fluffy. He is super white from his Purify treatment. And now I'm going to just give him a light tidy because his dad didn't want him clipped. He wanted him really super fluffy for Christmas. So it's Christmas at Kenzo's this year. So I'm just going to give a light tidy of his little paws and around his little eyes and his sanitary areas. So let's begin with clipping his pads. Thank you. 
when I clip out his pads, I'm just going over his pads, so I'm not cutting right in, so I'm not clipping right into his webbing. I'm just skimming my blade over the top of his pad. So it just keeps it really super nice and neat for when his foot's on the floor. Before we trim his feet nice and round, we are just going to trim his nails. He hates his feet being touched. He hates them being dried, everything to do with his little feet. So it's something that we've been working on for a while. So I like to just take a little bit off his nails. Good boy. Good boy. He's just not a fan. Boy, that was pretty good for him. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Good boy, he must know the camera's on. <laughs> he must know that his dad's gonna watch it. That's it. That's what's happening, isn't it, Kenzo? Good boy. Okay, it's a big deal when he's good with his feet, so I have to cheer him on. So using my fine tooth comb, I'm just going to comb down. Actually, he's got a little knot, so that's... Oh, good yeah, good. Just use my slicker to remove that. So he had a little knot, so I'm going to use my slicker and go back through his leg. Good boy. And remember I said that he hates his front legs being touched. But he's doing pretty well. Okay, so that knot's removed. So when I trim my feet, I like my dogs to stand. So I'm going to just get him to stand just so he's comfortable. <laughs> he's not going to. And then popping my scissors on a 45 degree angle and just using the tips, I'm going to cut around his foot and I'm going to cut it in a round shape because we're only giving him a tidy because his dad wants him to be super fluffy. So if I scissor any more on those little toes, he's going to end up with little tippy toes and it's going to be shaped like this and we want nice parallel really full teddy like feet he is bad with his feet and when I mean 
he's bad, he pulls away a lot and there's a lot of me trying to calm him down. When he does pull away and when I'm scissoring his front feet, I like to lift, oh good boy, I like to lift the opposite foot to what I'm trimming. So then it's harder for him to then pull away when I'm trimming his little tootsies. Sometimes when we have little bits of hair on our table from little parts that we've trimmed, they can get caught up in the hair that's on the dog's legs or feet and it can feel like there's knots and tangles in there but it might just be like the little bits that we've cut off. So it's a good idea just to use your slicker and make sure you've just removed all those little bits of cuttings and then use your comb. sanitary areas so I'm going to use our clippers and I'm going to only clip a small area on his little bottom he just looked at me like what are you doing trimming your bum you're okay and I don't want to shave it too much because he does have a lot of hair on his body so I don't want to make it so it's there it is so we're just going to do a little bit and I'm just going to use the corner of our blade. So it's just the edge. So using one edge of our blade and just coming in. And I always try and shape it like a little bit of a diamond. So we're coming in the top of our diamond, the bottom, the bottom, then the top. So that's how much I like to do. I'm going to gently hold his little legs and support his body with my hand and then gently use my clipper and I like to go with the direction of the cocoa and just go over his little private areas just so it's all neat and tidy. Good boy, you're okay. 
which is hard for him because he doesn't like his front legs being touched. So good boy, big steps. Yeah, big steps. A little bit inside his back legs, good boy. And sometimes you just have to give him a few more breaks than normal. Good boy. Nearly done. Ready? One, two, three, up. Good boy. Okay, so he's not going to let me do that. So I'm going to gently move his back leg upwards, but not going higher than his hip. So he's really super comfortable. And then I'm going to come in this way. And it's all done, all nice and clean. So now we're going to move onto his little head and I'm just going to do a light tidy so he's still really fluffy and his head's still really full. I'm going to clip out his eyes and I like to clip his eyes out on a 30 blade and I know that's super short but I know that he can also take it because that's what I normally do with him. And then tidy his little fringe and bring it in nice and round and he'll be all ready for Christmas. I'm coming in with the corner of my clipper and I just like to use one half of my blade and just gently scoop out all that staining. into his stock area and just scoop a little bit out so it's nice and clean. forward and using my straights just take the tips off and popping our scissors on that 45 degree angle and just shaping around those little eyes. And you can see how white his face is now. We've removed all that staining around his eye area. It just looks a lot cleaner. With our Bichon head, we would like our Bichon head to be round from the front and round from the side. So our side profile, I'm actually going to come from his muzzle area and I'm going to be using my blenders for this and coming around, good boy buddy, coming around the back of his ear. So I'm not taking much off, I'm just tipping it and getting it really super neat and tidy. Good boy, good boy. And constantly combing that area out. coming up and around and let's check our front profile it looks pretty neat and tidy moving on to his other side so starting around our muzzle area coming up behind his little ears and he's moving around a bit 
he's missing a little bit of hair through here and I think he scratches it because it's always missing, which is fine. We just pretend it's still there. And coming up, good boy, good boy. Coming up behind his ear. So we get that nice round shape coming from his cheek area into his ear and behind his ear coming up to the back of his skull. push his little ears forward and he is a panter so he does pant a lot when I groom him so I just need to work around that. Good boy. And then using my blenders to come up through the top of his skull. Remember this is just a light tidy so we don't want to take any length off. We just want to tidy up any little bits hanging out. Good boy. When I'm scissoring the top of his muzzle and because he does pant a lot when I groom him, I prefer to hold or place my thumb on top of his nose so I can feel if he's going to pop his head up or move around because it's, you know, we are using sharp scissors and he is a licker as well. area. Good boy. And just coming straight across. And cross check by combing. Good boy. Mm -hmm. You're pretty cute. All that's left is his Christmas flare. And a whisper of the relaxed cologne. Good boy. Yeah. And he's all ready for Christmas at his house. If you guys would like to see more grooming tutorials from us, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time guys, happy grooming.